Hi, and welcome to my lesson series. Now, this first video uh, should give you a pretty good understanding of what you want to accomplish in the practice room. And that changes depending on your age and depending on your skill level. But let's get right to it. The first thing to remember is to be honest with yourself. What chair you are in your band program, how many awards and honors you've received, that only compares you to the people around you. Uh, you have to assess yourself and decide realistically where you fall. I break it down into four categories. You have beginner, intermediate, advanced, and professional. To put it in perspective, I would say I was a beginner until maybe my sophomore year of high school, and then an intermediate until uh, my second year at the music conservatory. All right, so beginners first. Either you've only been playing the trombone for a few years, or you really never got into it before. Either way, there's one thing to remember. Your job in the practice room is to have fun playing the trombone. No matter what you play or how you sound, if you're having fun, you're succeeding. A great exercise is to play along with the radio or just a song that you like. Pop songs are really good though because uh, they're generally really simple and they're just fun to play. The more you play, the easier it'll get and the more fun that playing music will be and that's the point. As a beginner, don't stress about practicing too much. Uh, once a week is, is plenty. Just keep at it, and when you have more time and discipline to uh, practice a couple times a week, then you'll be ready to move up to the intermediate level. But don't worry about that. I, I wish I stayed in the beginner mindset for much longer because it's just way more fun that way, and you learn a lot more that way. All right, so next are the intermediate players. And really be confident that you're an intermediate player because if you have some questions about it, you should probably take a step back and really get back to the enjoying to play music part of it. But let's say you've done that already. This means you crave the technical facility and have the drive to work at it. It's important to still have fun playing. But at this point, you find that working to get better uh, is having an enjoyable payoff. Now at the intermediate level, it's important to find a teacher outside of your school program to meet with once a week as your private trombone teacher. The intermediate level is where you should start getting familiar with your major and minor scales. Don't stress over it, but start playing them and start playing them all. You should also start working on solo trombone pieces uh, and assessing your abilities. Don't try to play something that's too hard for you. Push your boundaries a little bit, but if you push too far, then you're gonna get frustrated, it's not gonna be fun to play, and you're gonna get discouraged. So remember, the point is always to have fun, but hopefully at this level, having fun means pushing your boundaries a little bit. If you decide to pursue a career in music and are ready to up your game, then keep practicing, and by no time, you'll be in the advanced category. So what does it mean to be an advanced player? You're most likely in music school, and you know you're a fine player, but you've surrounded yourself with amazing musicians, so it's easy to feel pretty inadequate. Okay, so I'm here to say, chin up, <laughs> we're almost there. I'm in that category too. The best advice I have for fellow advanced players is to treat yourself like a professional. Even though you know you're not yet, treat yourself like one. Uh, if you let yourself make mistakes because you're still learning and it happens all the time in the conservatory setting, we go, well, I'm learning, so it's okay that I flipped that note or I'm playing out of tune. Get rid of that and just say, it's not okay. I'm a professional player and that means I can't make any mistakes. And then you're adequately preparing yourself for the real world if that's really a real thing. Professional players don't allow themselves to make mistakes and it's the reason they typically don't, if that makes sense. Uh, so all you have to do is pretend that you're a professional musician, and eventually you will be. So I hope this helps as kind of a, a guideline for the rest of the videos. So this is what you're trying to do, depending on what category you're in. And if you're a professional player, then uh, contact me and I'll get a lesson from you. <laughs> so check out the rest of the lesson series. I'll post all of the links in the description below, and hopefully you'll learn a thing or two. Christopher Bill, he sailed the sea, and Annabelle was his daughter, but never a soul did Christopher tell, he never did like the water.